Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys an unboxing or unwrapping of a stationery set or a letter set. And uh, this is actually from my personal collection of Hello Kitty things that I've had and I found another one I thought it would be neat to share with you guys. This is a particular set that's actually uh, not, wasn't available just at a regular Hello Kitty store. It was at a regular uh, higher end stationery shop and they did a series where they were kind of doing a collaboration with Hello Kitty. And this was from quite a few years ago, actually, um, in 2002. So, you know, 12 years ago. <laughs> and uh, um, you buy the pad of paper for two, you get 20 sheets from this particular pad of paper. And it was about 350 yen. And you can see it's got a cute little bunny on it, which is so cute. And then the nice little kind of soccer balls. And I don't know if you guys can see it. There's Hello Kitty there, of course. But she's also in the middle of these flowers, too. So it's just a really fun, cute, kind of uh, more traditional Japanese-style uh, pattern with Hello Kitty kind of hiding there. And then there's also the uh, envelopes that go with it. And uh, this envelope pack was about 300 yen. And um, this is a real standard kind of size. The notepad even might be a little on the big side, actually. Um, but you often see envelopes. They're always uh, standing up vertically. Uh, usually people write the address uh, writing from uh, right to left, starting from the top and writing down. Um, it's a very traditional style of envelope. So if you bought this and you wanted to use it, for example, in America, you know, you'd be tempted to turn it sideways, and that's fine. You know, you're just bunnies would be on there, you know, climbing up to the sky instead. So, <laughs> But let me show you guys how this looks. The paper for this is uh, much nicer. It's a good thick quality kind of paper. You can see the texture on it a little bit there with a the neat little kind of print on it. And on the other side, there's some more bunnies and cute little Hello Kitty there. Uh, as with a lot of uh, stuff that you get here, most of it doesn't have any glue on it. You don't usually, if there is glue, you don't lick it. Uh, you usually just use water in your fingers. Um, a lot of times what people do instead is they put glue themselves or they tape it um, or use a sticker if they're just giving it to somebody but in person um, or not even close it off at all. Um, but if you're mailing it, you'd put just a little bit of glue like I use for my craft stuff. So, um, but pretty little envelope for that for sure. And then the notepad and paper here too. It's just a nice pad here with the design. And you can see the paper is a little on the thinner side here. And uh, with most of these, if you notice, there's actually the back part here features an extra piece of cardboard that you can take out and use as a guide. Oops, I don't want that to tear. <laughs> um, you can use it as a guide for when you're writing so that you don't accidentally go crooked. So you hide it underneath here. You can see the lines really easily. And then when you write, you get a nice, pretty way of writing. Um, and uh, when you're finished, and I'm going to go ahead and use the piece of paper that I tore here because I'm going to want to tear it. <laughs> Most of these are set to be the right size so that they fold up nicely, of course, into your envelopes like most other stationaries do. Um, but it's always nice when companies consider that a little bit for you. <laughs> this one should, I imagine, fold easily into thirds. Yeah, looks like it's going to. So if you fold it, you know, into thirds, it should fit into the envelope nicely. and you'd get a nice finished letter that way. So it's a cute, cute Hello Kitty and bunny version, which I just can't ignore how cute that is. Our bunny's birthday was on May 29th, so, uh, you know, we have to celebrate Marshmallow's birthday <laughs> uh, with something cute. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'll try to find if I have some other fun stuff to share with you guys, because this would make such pretty origami paper. If you just cut off right here and had this little part, or vice versa, focused on this end, Make some neat stuff with that for sure. So uh, you know, definitely letter sets are a place where you can look for some unique paper for crafts and origami that you might be doing. So um, I'll try to have some more fun, thing, fun things like this to share with you guys in the future. Uh, thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!